Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. Today we are going to make a unique underground house. Its uniqueness lies in the fact that we'll make it from a large plastic barrel. Here is the barrel. If you remember what videos we filmed with it, then be sure to write it in the comments. I tell you that this barrel flew, and also we sailed on it, and today we'll bury it. It's freezing temperature outside, very cold. Today we'll come up with an unusual heating for our barrel because it's plastic and we need to shield it so that the stove doesn't melt it. Now our task is to dig a pit so that the barrel is completely submerged down. Wow, check out the pit. Actually below it didn't seem so big. Do you think the barrel will fit into this pit? Write in the comments. Yes, take a look and write. It seems to me that it will fit. Now it will be like in films about the apocalypse, everything will rise from the bowels of the earth. Roll it down. Right away? Yes, go for it. And you were worried that there wasn't enough space. See how much is left. Peekaboo! Guys, we changed our tactics a little, we turned our future house sideways and decided that in this space it would be just brilliant and ideal to make a sauna so that we can warm up well and that hide in a warm and cozy house. Therefore, we'll now fix our house here and then we'll make the stove. Ba -ba -bom. Our pet is like a plasticine house, you can do whatever you want. We want to put this small barrel here, it will be far from a house and will not burn, but heat will enter it if it gets very hot, then we can just close the door. The idea is cool, be sure to watch it to the end. The coolest thing is that we're making a sauna and a house in one day. Everything happens very quickly. It's really nice here. What are you doing now? I'm making a framework for our future furniture. It's really cozy here. For now there is nowhere to sit and lie, but I can imagine how cool it will be. Look what I found! Where did you find it? In the forest, of course. There is one more. This will serve as a sauna bench. We are now covering our so-called backyard with the help of forest material, boards, stakes and logs. From above we'll then cover it all with agrofiber film and then mask it. This is necessary for greater tightness since our sauna will heat up everything and to make sure that the heat doesn't escape through the cracks, we'll cover it up all very tightly. The most important thing in the forest dug out is to disguise it. So now we are doing this with the help of leaves, various sticks and branches. As you can see, we couldn't manage to complete it in one day. It's almost dark already, so we'll come tomorrow and finish it all and relax in our forest house. While Sergei is decorating the walls in our house, I found resin. There was once fire here and a lot of it appeared on the trees. Look, it burns very well, so we'll use it for ignition. So we installed the smoker of our stove in the sauna and mask it with sand. This is to prevent the leaves from catching fire. Who knows if suddenly the wind blow and the leaves will light up. We have a bed. We can lie down now. Cool, isn't it? Or we can just sit down. So guys, welcome to our underground house with a sauna. Get down. The first thing you will see here is our sauna. To our surprise, the sauna turned out to be very spacious. We were afraid that the staircase would take half of its place, but it stood so tightly against the wall that it's almost invisible. We didn't expect that with the help of such burlap, you can make a room so cozy. We shot a lot of videos in this barrel, but it has never been so cozy. How many mountains to get some confidence? How many deep Whoa, you already lit the stove. With just one mastic, by the way, that's what professional does. 
We seem to be on a steamer of some kind. It's steam. Yes, it's steam. Don't think it's smoke. This is steam from the barrel because it's damp and humid here. Now we'll heat it up and it will be dry and warm here. I feel relaxed now. It's already warm here. Is the stove already warming up? Yes. Earlier we had a tradition in every new house to have an animal figure and come up with a name for it. While Sergei is changing clothes, let's decide with you how to name this rabbit. Write in the comments. You know how much I love sounds and steam bath. Now it's probably about 45 degrees. I'm already starting to sweat, but a little later we'll once again check how many degrees there is with thermometer. Now we'll pour water and see if there is steam. So cool, we made an underground sauna yet again. In order not to let moisture into the house, I will probably close the door for now. According to our idea, the temperature in the house is regulated by our door. Now we'll check if the temperature will drop if we close it. How's that? It was 28.9, now 28.8, 28.3 and 28.1 now. So we regulate the temperature in the room by the level of this opening. The larger it is, the more heat gets in. If it gets too hot, then we close the door and fix it like this. We fix it with a rope. There are such loops here. For example, we remove it and then fix it with such a loop to completely close it. Like this. Wow, the lens fogged up. This is crazy, it's really hot. Let's check out the temperature now. How much does it show? Now it's 28.3. Give me the thermometer. Here it is, 64 degrees and still increasing. See how it measures, 64 and 3, 64 and 4, 64 and 5. Well, write in the comments how many degrees there really can be. Guys, can you imagine a sauna in the forest? There is also a house nearby. It's really very hot in here. Uh, it's just amazing. Most importantly, you don't feel cold after the sauna. I really don't feel cold like a real sauna. We got a very epic house. It's like a bear's den. This house is so warm that one can easily spend a whole day in winter. If you liked our mini underground house, then be sure to hit the thumbs up and write in the comments what else you would add in this house. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. It was Ficus and interesting with you. See you next Sunday. I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours. Mm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we didn't mind. Blah, blah.